Hey guys, welcome to another video. I did put up a poll about this on our community on the Telegram channel and I did receive a massive response. So yet again, you have the Pocophone F1 in front of you and there is a reason you see this particular light or white theme. We will talk about it in a different video. I am going to make a video in which I will talk about the workarounds of staying on MIUI 12 and experiencing it in a better way than what you guys are doing right now. So what is today's video about? Well, it is for people who have locked bootloaders. I mean, it works for unlocked bootloaders as well. This one right here is unlocked, but we're going to use the system updater app to move from MIUI 12 to MIUI 11.0.9. Now, this is going to be an official way of doing it. Yes, you will lose your data. So it is highly recommended that you go ahead and back up all the information on your device before you even attempt to do anything of this sort. Secondly, I would highly, highly recommend please have more than 50% battery on your device when you do this. Otherwise, it might fail because once again, we are using the built-in MIUI way of upgrading or downgrading ROMs. Now, there is one surprise step that we will be trying over here. Now, someone did mention that try to go to, you know, MIUI 10 directly from MIUI 12. I did try that, it did not work. Well, all that is for the full video, but if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. To begin with, this is going to be a relatively short video, so let's directly get to the point because somebody recently mentioned too much talk, so I'm going to cut that short. Anyways, so one quick look over here at the software version that this particular phone is running. This is of course MIUI 12.0.2 Global Stable. So the first thing that I would recommend you to do is tap on this 8 to 10 times and then you will get a pop-up which will say additional update options enabled and then you if, if you click this three dot over here you will get an option called choose update package now before we proceed there are two things that we're going to try in this particular video one we will be downgrading to 11.0.9 and once we have successfully downgraded to 11.0.9 we will try to move to miui 10. now let me tell you this does involve its share of risks so first of all please back up all the information anyways i've tried this a couple of times and it has worked just fine so it's it's not that harmful so you will be needing two files over here and in your case, if you just wish to go to MIUI 11 from 12, you just need one file, which is linked in the description that is 11.0.9. So in this video specifically, we will first downgrade from MIUI 12.0.2 to 11.0.9 for the POCO F1 global variant. And once we are on MIUI 11, we will try to go to MIUI 10. If that works, you know, it will be great even if it doesn't. I can definitely assure you without routing, without unlocking the bootloader using this video, you will be able to downgrade from MIUI 12 to MIUI 11. So first, download that file, put it in your phone's internal storage. Once you've done that, the steps are very, very simple. First of all, you need to have an active internet connection and your data must be backed up. So go to about phone, go to MIUI version. And over here, as I said, tap eight to nine times and then select choose update package now we will first select miui 11.0.9 and hit ok now the reason you need internet is because of this step wherein it says retrieving info so hold on while that happens okay now as you can see over here the update package you selected 11.0.9 is older than the current version using this package directly may lead to errors it is best to wipe data before proceeding to the next step now even though it does allow you to downgrade without losing data i would highly recommend don't do that all right so let's hit next and then select erase and update so yeah it doesn't allow you to but still erase and update your personal data will be erased make sure to back up as i said it is an update and the phone should restart it says decrypting the update let's really really hope we don't get any error because this is very critical for people who are not liking miui 12 including me to some extent yeah so the phone will restart it will take its own sweet time of two to five minutes sorry for the black background there i'm just trying something different anyways so before you guys actually go ahead and tell me that uh, 
you have an unlocked bootloader so this will not work on the locked bootloader not really guys this is the official xiaomi software updater app that we are using and it has got nothing to do with a locked or unlocked bootloader even if you're on a locked bootloader the update system will work just fine so let's wait for this process to complete it will wipe everything and then once we go back to the home screen of miui 11 we will see what happens. All right, so as you can see, we are on the setup screen of MIUI 11. We're gonna quickly skip through all of this real quick. And I'm glad to report that it did work, but I have to tell you, it did take, to be precise, five to six minutes for the phone to boot up. So yeah, it does take time but don't panic all right so as you can see over here sorry for the dark wallpaper but we are on miui 11. the first thing that i'd like to check is the imei if it is intact or not because in these cases the imei does go away so yeah it is there and it is absolutely fine now apart from that if we go to about phone over here and you go to miui version as you can see 11.0.9 as of now on a locked bootloader using the official updater app you cannot downgrade from miui 11 to miui 10 but the welcome addition over here is that we were successfully able to downgrade from miui 12 to miui 11 now i would suggest this would happen till the time xiaomi you know really wants it to happen because nobody can control that the day they decide to change things on the server this might stop working but for now it is working perfectly fine on locked and unlocked bootloaders and if you want me to make a dedicated video like this for unlocked bootloaders like using the flash tool and using twrp recovery give this video a like and let me know in the comment section for now this is kalash signing off with smartphone tutorials until the next one keep smiling take care goodbye